BBC Scotland has obtained data saying half of elderly hospital patients discharged by the Scottish Government to nearly 200 care homes at the start of the pandemic had not been tested for coronavirus. Released under a Freedom of Information request, the figures give a detailed picture of the Scottish Government's policy, which was put in place to free up hospital beds to ensure there were enough for people suffering from COVID-19. Our own data journalist Mark Ellison gave me the background. At the start of the pandemic last March, thousands of elderly people who, had, who no longer needed to be in hospital were discharged into many of Scotland's thousand plus care homes. Now, this was at a time when the Scottish Government was being advised that spare capacity was needed in hospital wards to accommodate coronavirus cases. This was also before testing was commonplace. Now, only six weeks later, on the 21st of April 2020, did it become mandatory for hospital patients to have two negative COVID tests before being discharged and for all new care home admissions to be isolated for 14 days. Now, by this point, over 3,500 patients had already been discharged without having first been tested for coronavirus. Uh, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon later called the way patients were discharged a mistake. Um, And the Scottish Government confirmed last month that Scotland is to hold a public inquiry into the handling of the COVID pandemic by the end of this year and would scrutinise decisions that were taken over the course of the crisis. So what do these figures then tell us about what actually happened? Well, they they, they tell us a number of things. Um, For the first time, they give us an unprecedented and really granular view of not only the specific care homes patients were discharged to, but more importantly, which of these 800 plus homes took in untested patients. For example, having interrogated the data, we now know that there were nearly 200 homes where at least half of incoming residents were untested. The data also shows how, for example, the Chester Park Care Home in Glasgow received the most discharges with 46. That roughly equates to more than half the beds in the home. At least 19 of these were untested hospital patients. And similarly, in the the Rutherglen Care Home, um, we know that they took in the most untested discharges with 28. That's at least 70% of all the 40 discharges that they received in the first few months of the pandemic. Uh, and lastly, the figures also re- reveal that 75 homes took in uh, people who had tested pro- positive prior to coming into the homes. And I understand it wasn't all that easy to get your hands on this data. Um, it, it really wasn't. Um, so a Public Health Scotland report came out last October that analysed whether discharges could be linked to subsequent outbreaks or deaths in care homes in the first few months of the pandemic. That report concluded that no statistically significant association could be found, but acknowledged a small effect, particularly for those patients who were discharged untested or discharged uh, with a positive test. Uh, And they said that 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 small effect couldn't be ruled out. However, the data uh, in that Public Health Scotland report was anonymised. So I wanted to do my own analysis and find out specifically the number of tested and untested people sent to each home. This meant um, having to submit a Freedom of Information request to Public Health Scotland. Now, to cut a long story short, um, it took uh, the better part of 11 months to get the data um, following a successful appeal to the Scottish Information Commissioner. Um, Public Health Scotland had basically cited concerns over commercial sensitivity and data protection as reasons for not releasing the data to me initially. So you eventually got the data then, Mark. Um, Have the, the, the families who lost loved ones in care homes uh, said anything about it? Yes, the reaction of family mem- some family mem- members that I've spoken to has been extremely positive. Um, for example, I, I spoke to one lady called Jo Barry, um, whose mother Nancy was discharged to a home without first being tested. Now, despite being quarantined for two weeks upon arrival into the home, Jo says her mum still caught coronavirus soon after and sadly passed away. She's just one of many relatives who are part of uh, who are part of the COVID nineteen bereaved families for justice group, which has met with the Scottish government in relation to this up- upcoming inquiry. They all want answers, and they believe this new data will help find them. Has there been any official reaction then, Mark, to the figures from the from the government or elsewhere? Ama Anwar, uh, a lawyer acting for this group um, that I just mentioned, called the data explosive evidence. Now, while it's difficult to link this data to outbreaks or deaths. He claims it's proof that people's lives had been put at risk. He said that, and I quote, the data supports what many bereaved families have always suspected, that elderly patients were discharged without any regard for a duty of care owed to them or to residents and care home staff. He added that, and again, I quote, many of the grieving families I represent describe what took place in our care homes as a massacre that could have been avoided had a simple test taken place prior to discharge. 
But, um, the, but the Scottish government said it stands by the conclusion of the Public Health Scotland report, which had concluded there was no clear statistical evidence that hospital discharges were associated with care home outbreaks. A spokesperson said the data obtained by BBC Scotland did not change that conclusion. They added that decisions to discharge patients are not made by ministers, but health and social care professionals alongside the patient and their family. That's the BBC's old data journalist, Mark Ellison.